Hi, I'm Jenny Campbell. I'm the director of the undergraduate uh, program in zoology here at NC State, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the uh, program and what you might expect if you're a student in the program, and hopefully answer any questions you may have. Throughout the slide, slide presentation, I actually have um, quotes from students that are past and present zoology students, and they're, they're basically just giving you some insight and reflection on why they chose zoology and why they like it as a, as a major. This is Adam Duggar. Adam Duggar is now a third year vet student at the uh, NC State Vet School. And uh, this is his quote. He's here holding a raccoon. I chose to major in zoology because it's a broad field in science that can lead to many career paths. And this is true. We have students that go to dental school, PA school, vet school. We have students that become zookeepers, work at PetSmart, um, really a variety of different career possibilities. Another term for zoology is animal biology. So you can think of this as a major focused on the biology of animals. And when we talk about animals in this major, we really are interested in everything from atoms and molecules all the way up to ecosystems. The first two years is not all that different from a lot of the other life sciences majors here at NC State. Um, however, there are a few differences. One example would be that there is an animal anatomy and physiology class that you take rather than the human animal anatomy and physiology class that many of the other life sciences majors would take. The last two years, however, can differ quite dramatically from other majors. And in particular, uh, you take classes that are going to really focus on the meat of animal biology. You take classes about ecology, evolution, animal phylogeny. Here is a list of classes that many students take here at NC State as, as their major electives. So these would be the classes that you take in the latter portion of your degree program, so those last two years that I just mentioned. Okay, and I'm just going to point out a few of these classes to you um, for you to think about. So for example, you can take evolutionary biology, you can take primate ecology and evolution if you want to learn more about our closest living relatives. You can take a class all about fishes. We have a class about uh, captive animal conservation, captive animal biology. We have classes about biological clocks and marine biology that you can take as the sort of the major electives for your degree. Oh, one last thing. I have a little bullet down here at the bottom. You can um, also sub in research activities, internship activities, even study abroad experiences that you have for classes that will fit into these major electives. Danielle is a vet student who is also pursuing a uh, PhD at uh, the North, North Carolina State um, Vet School. She did two years of her veterinary degree and then she tracked out of her veterinary degree and tracked into her PhD. She has done that for three years and she's actually in her final year of her PhD. And once she's completed that, she'll track back into vet school and she'll finish and become a veterinarian who also received a PhD. Her research focus is in um, antibiotic residues in milk for human consumption, but she also happens to really love Labrador retrievers. Many of the students that are in the zoology degree program take advantage of several different internship opportunities, both locally and afar. They also get to engage in research opportunities, again, here at the university, but also um, uh, participate in experiences elsewhere. So we have, um, for study abroad in particular, we have a lot of students that go to, to Namibia in Africa. It's actually in southern Africa. And you get there by going to South Africa and then taking a plane over to Namibia. Namibia has a lot of large, iconic African wildlife, so students really enjoy these uh, uh, study abroad opportunities. People also go to Cape Town, South Africa. Believe it or not, they might work at a penguin uh, rehab center or help with some research with great white sharks when they're participating in that study abroad. 
And then there's a couple of different programs that you can participate in in Australia. These are the most common study abroad opportunities that the zoology students engage in, but they're not the only ones. Internships locally, we have the Duke Lemur Center, we have the Carolina Tiger um, Rescue, we have the Museum of Natural Sciences just downtown that you can actually get to by bus. We have Piedmont Wildlife Center, which actually offers a, both internships and research and conservation, but you can also be a long-term raptor volunteer and learn raptor handling skills. And then there is also the North Carolina Zoo, and there are a few opportunities at the North Carolina Zoo, one of which is an entire uh, year-long research assistantship, and another is a summer in, um, in, in, um, internship um, that's for people that don't want to have quite the same level of commitment. Research opportunities, we have Research Pack Track, which I'm actually thinking you've probably heard of in the course of this program, so I'm not going to talk much about it, but I'll just say that it's a really great way to get some foundational research experience. Then also we have opportunities to work with principal investigators doing their research at the, at the uh, uh, vet school, as well as in several departments across the university. So we've got animal science, we've got entomology, wildlife sciences, a lot of different possibilities, along with those that are available in our department. Many of the zoology um, students who engage in internships and research, like I mentioned before, actually can receive credit for these activities. So you can actually get course credit by doing these things. This, by the way, is Caitlin. Caitlin completed a research internship at the Lemur Center a few years ago, and she's been working there part-time ever since as one of their educators. She's going to be graduating from zoology pretty soon here. Sam graduates this spring, or spring of 2017. Sam is also a park scholar, and he's kind of hoping to become a zoo curator one day. And this is actually from some work he did at the Philadelphia Zoo. He spent the last year studying gorillas. This is an orangutan. He spent the last year studying gorillas at the North Carolina Zoo, and actually he just presented his research to the zoo staff yesterday. So, a question we get a lot is, well, if I major in zoology, what should I minor in? Or is it a good idea to do a double major? And again, I'm bet, I bet you're talking about these issues um, sort of broadly in this class, so I won't say too much, but I will say that there are a lot of really great minors that complement the zoology degree, and some are minors you might not have considered, such as nonprofit studies or Spanish. These would be good minors. Another one that would be really good is genetics. At the same time, if you really did want to double major, these could be good um, potential options to double major as well. Probably one of the most common double majors we see is animal science. So we have several students that are zoology and animal science double majors. This is Troy. Troy actually graduated last year. She's working in Vermont, and she's actually going to be starting a new job as a wildlife biologist um, studying some bird species unique to the area up there. But while she was here at NC State, she worked um, on a research project known as Cat Tracker. I highly recommend that you look it up because it's a really cool project and it's an opportunity that's available to you to get involved in here at NC State. She also double majored. She double majored in zoology and wildlife science. Allison had a lot of credits coming in to NC State, and she pretty much had an entire year worth of credits completed. So she actually chose to do an accelerated master's. So she did three years as an undergrad, one year as a hybrid undergrad grad student, and then one year as a grad student. So she was actually able to complete a zoology degree and an, a graduate master's program in zoology in five years. She now works for the uh, North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, and her main focus is white-tailed deer management and research here in North Carolina. So what will you do? That's kind of up to you and your interests, and actually how well you do academically while you're here at NC State. Many of our students go to graduate school 
I've already talked a little bit about that, vet school, dental school, medical school. They might do graduate research in zoology. I know one girl right now who's actually in at the University of Washington, but her research is in um, Tasmania, where she studies the Tasmanian devil. Genetics is another really good option for research, um, graduate research as well. Some people finish with their undergraduate degree and become a wildlife technician. And uh, there are a lot of different possible opportunities there. And then a number of my students or students in this program actually uh, work in zoos and aquariums. They're involved in research. They might work in state, national, or local park systems. And then there is science education, which is a really important field these days. By the way, that's Kevin. He's another vet student. So this slide here has a lot on it. What this is is a collection of uh, names of students who are alums from NC State and what they're doing right now. And if you look through this list, you'll see, you'll see people that are in vet school. You'll see people that work at the Duke Lemur Center. You see people that are in graduate programs. One girl's a PhD program in neuroscience. Kayla Noble's in the Peace Corps. Jess Spohr actually was working at a zoo in the United Arab Emirates, but she just took a job at the San Diego Zoo, so she's now back in the United States. So in short, there's a lot of different things you can do with a zoology degree, and it's really only limited by your imagination and the degree to which you want to work. So if you have any other questions about the zoology program, you're welcome to contact me. Here is my email, and I look forward to hearing from you.